Hey guys, in this video I'm sharing some little known secrets to losing weight after the age of 35 based on the metabolic way of losing weight. I'll share more about what that means shortly. We'll talk about what makes losing weight after the age of 35 more challenging because it can be more challenging, though as you'll soon find out, your metabolism won't start to tank just because you're in your late 30s, 40s or 50s. And if it's already started to slow down, you'll likely be able to do something about it. And I'll share five rules to follow in order to lose weight more effortlessly as you enter this stage of your life. Because as you may have discovered, the things that you did in the past in order to lose weight probably don't work as well anymore. In case you don't know me, I'm Ingun, a Norwegian Viking. I help people transform their bodies and life using what I call the metabolic way of losing weight. It has helped me transform my own body and life and so many others. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and let's dive into this video. Now I get it. A lot of people have told me that the methods they used to use in the past in order to lose weight just don't work anymore for them. As they get older, they simply find it more and more challenging to lose weight. Though as I've seen firsthand with people that I've worked with within my Slim by Science program, it most certainly is possible to lose weight as you get older. And it might be a lot easier than you think. There are studies as well that show that it is possible to lose weight as you age, even for women in or post-menopause. So it's most certainly possible, maybe you just haven't found the best method yet. Now one of the biggest reasons people think it's more challenging to lose weight as we get older is because our metabolism slow down as we age. That's just a fact, isn't it? It's just life, it's how we are designed as humans. However, take a look at this graph right here. It shows total energy expenditure of men and women with age. It shows how we spend more energy and have a higher metabolism when we're kids and teenagers, though once we get to our 20s, our metabolism basically levels out and stays the same until our 60s. Our metabolism stays pretty constant from our early 20s until we turn 60. And only really after we turn 60 does it slowly start to decrease again. So can we really blame our slow metabolism on our age if we're in our 30s, 40s, 50s? Is it simply inevitable that once we get to a certain age, will slowly start to gain weight and there's nothing we can really do about it. If you pay attention to the people around you that are around the same age as you or older, are most of them overweight? If so, then it's easy to assume that that's simply how life goes. Though in other parts of the world, you'd find a very different reality. Depending on where you go, you may find that people stay slim even as they get older or even lose weight. So I guess their age didn't totally screw up their metabolism. In this study, they found that women 20 to 30 years old had essentially the same resting metabolic rate as women 40 to 50 years old. Those 60 and above had a slower metabolism. So unless you're in your 60s or older, your age may not have anything to do with having a slower metabolism. That doesn't mean you don't have a slower metabolism that's keeping you from losing weight. That may very well be the case. A slow metabolism can most certainly make weight loss very difficult. It does mean, however, that instead of just accepting that it's caused by your age and there's nothing you can do about it, instead you may actually be able to do something about it. By the way, I would really appreciate if you gave this video a thumbs up and if you're looking to lose weight naturally and effectively without losing your sanity or health in the process, and without having to count calories or do tons of exercise, then you're definitely going to want to subscribe to my channel and click that bell button. And for lots more tips and examples of what I eat myself, check out my Instagram at Viking Ingen. Now, a lot of women find that they gain weight around the time they start to approach or go through menopause. However, according to this paper, based on several dif different studies, weight gain does not appear to be affected by hormonal changes of menopause, meaning that going through menopause pause does not seem to cause weight gain in and of itself. That doesn't mean you may not gain weight around that time, though it may be caused by other factors. Actually, there are reasons why women may find it more challenging to lose weight in general. It has to do with an imbalance in our hormones and their effect on our metabolism. I talked about this in my previous video, along with five unexpected tips to help minimize those effects and even help our hormonal balance altogether. So for 
for all you women out there. If you're finding it diff challenging to lose weight, you're definitely going to want to check out that video if you haven't already. I highly recommend it. You'll find the link in the description of this video. So if we're not doomed to have a slow metabolism as we age, and even menopause doesn't even necessarily cause weight gain, then why do so many people gain weight as they go through their 30s, 40s, uh, 50s? And why does it get so much harder to lose weight as we get older? I'll quickly share three reasons right now before we talk about those five rules for how to lose weight more effort effortlessly as we age. Now, as you age, the effects of what you've put your body through so far starts to accumulate, as your body is simply not as resilient anymore. When we're young, our bodies are more resilient. If we get hurt, our wounds heal faster. It's easier to recover from a late night out on the town. Maybe you were even able to eat junk food and stay lean when you were younger. A lot of people have put their bodies through a lot of tough times in the past and gotten away with it because the body is so resilient. Though as we age, it becomes more and more challenging for the body to keep up with all the crappy stuff we throw at it. Crappy food, lack of nutritious food, lack of sleep, stress, and traditional weight loss methods. As we talked about in a recent video, traditional weight weight loss methods like restricting calories, doing loads of cardio, pounding down gallons of water, fasting often or for long periods of time, doing low carb for extended periods of time, etc. Do not take into account the negative effects these methods have on our metabolism, how they may actually cause our metabolism to slow down. They may help you lose weight in the beginning, though as your metabolism slows down, it becomes more and more difficult to keep losing weight or to even keep the weight off. So a lot of people end up gaining weight back again, even more than they lost in the first place. Now, in the past, your body may have been able to deal with a lot of these effects and if recovered fairly well. So some of those methods may have worked for you in the past. Though as we get older and our bodies are not as resilient anymore, the more damaging those methods can be on our metabolism. And the more times we put our bodies through something like that, the worse it is for our metabolism. The effects start to accumulate as we put our metabolism through these rough times. And of course, the worse off your metabolism is, the more challenging it will be for you to lose weight. This is true no matter your age, though as you get older, this may have a more profound effect, especially as it has accumulated over time. No wonder people find that what has worked for them in order to lose weight in the past no longer works. That's why the metabolic way of losing weight is even more impactful as you get older. Basically, the metabolic way of losing weight is when you use methods in order to lose weight that actually support your metabolism and health in general. So instead of using traditional methods that that may actually end up slowing down your metabolism and make it more challenging for you to keep the weight off. You use methods that actually support your metabolism so that it's both easy to lose the weight and to keep it off afterwards. Another reason it may be more challenging to lose weight as we get older is that our cortisol levels may increase as we age. Cortisol is a stress hormone that can both make you feel more hungry and slow down your metabolism at the same time. And it may cause you to store more fat specifically around your belly. Studies find at least associations of higher cortisol or pro prolonged periods of increased cortisol secretion as people get older. Another reason why it may be more challenging to lose weight as we get older is due to loss of muscle mass. You do not need to have huge muscles in order to have a good metabolism, though muscles do help you burn more calories. And even more so, losing muscle mass means that you'll be burning fewer calories. This does not mean you need to become a gym rat at 40. You can maintain your muscles or even get a whole lot stronger with just two to three 30 to 40 minute sessions per week, depending of course on how your workouts are set up. And of course, another factor that may make it more challenging to lose weight as we get older is that our lifestyles may change quite a bit. Getting older often comes with more stress in general, which can have a huge impact on your weight. Remember what we talked about regarding the stress hormone cortisol earlier? Getting older often also comes with more responsibilities that leaves less time for cooking your own meals, 
prioritizing being active, actually taking time to enjoy our lives and de-stress. Or when we do make an effort to make some time to relax, we turn to eating crappy food and sitting on the couch rather than spending time outside with people we love and eating real food. Something to think about. Now let's take a look at those five rules for losing weight more effortlessly after 35. Because as we get older, there are certain things that become exponentially more important if we want to lose weight naturally and actually keep the weight off without sacrificing our sanity. So let's take a look. No extreme measures. Don't get me wrong, going all in on a weight loss method is great. Though you have to choose the right method, one that does not wreck your metabolism. Extremes such as these can end up slowing down your metabolism as they add a lot of stress on your body. And as we've talked about, as you get older, these effects can get worse and accumulate over time. Your body will do everything it can to be healthy, though you need to take care of your body first. Quality matters even more now. I've talked about how damaging different foods, ingredients, and additives can be for your weight loss journey many times. As you get older, your body is simply less resilient and the quality of the food becomes even more important. You may have been able to get away with eating crap in the past. Your body may have been able to deal with it much better then. Now, that may not be the case anymore. And you need to respect that and listen to what your body is telling you. You may see influencers on social media eating junk food daily and still looking super fit and lean. At some point, however, their diet will catch up with them. They may start to gain weight, or their health may in general just start to deteriorate. And that may happen and you would never know because they might not even share that with you. For example, there are lots of examples of vegan influencers secretly starting to eat a non-vegan diet due to the health problems that their vegan diet cost them. So just keep these things in mind. You instinctively know what foods are healthy and which are not. You don't need a perfect diet. Just remember that as you get older, the quality of your diet will start to matter more and more. You'll also want to do some strength training. Again, just two to three sessions each week of 30 to 40 minutes can be enough if you know what you're doing. And just an update for those looking to join Slim by Science, a simple, effective, full body workout plan with minimal equipment from total beginner to advanced is now included in the Slim by Science program. Remember, strength training can increase your metabolism, increase insulin sensitivity, boost your mood, help build a stronger and more resilient body, Body, help shape and tone your body and help prevent weight regain. The last one is especially important for those who have previously been using more traditional weight loss methods and found that they have regained any weight that they lost. You'll also want to eat your animal protein. I say animal protein here because once again, the quality of the food that you eat is even more important now. And whole food animal protein sources are not only the best sources of protein, they come along with a host of other nutrients that are also essential for your metabolism. De-stress in the most natural ways. Stress hormones make losing weight so much harder. Remember the hormone cortisol? However, the way you de-stress is important. Spending all your spare time looking at a screen is not going to have the same effect on your body as breathing fresh air, getting sun on your skin, spending time with people you love, letting your mind wander rather than being constantly entertained. Again, all of this is increasingly important as we get older. We're not as resilient. We put our bodies through a lot already. And it's now time to take it seriously and take back a control of our health. Don't try to hack your way to losing weight while you're still eating crap. That will only put more stress on your body and slow down your metabolism. If you'd like a step-by-step -step approach to losing weight while supporting your metabolism, where you don't need to count calories or do tons of exercise, then I invite you to join my Slim by Science program at slimbyscience.com. You'll find the link in the description of this video. Don't waste time on methods that only set you back further. Remember, if you do what everyone else is doing, then you'll end up having the same problems 
as everyone else. 95% of people fail at losing weight and keeping it off due to the methods they use. Don't waste your time on that stuff unless you want to be part of that statistics. Instead, do what you know will actually make a difference in your life. It's not about those cool hacks. It's also not about the extremes. It's about doing what's best for your body by building a strong and more resilient body with a kick-ass metabolism. You can join my program for a step-by-step -step approach with video instructions, simple yet tasty recipes, daily motivational check-ins, simple yet effective workouts you can do from home, and so much more at slimbyscience.com. I also have lots more videos you're going to want to check out. I'll link to two of them right here. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel as I have lots more coming your way. I'll see you in the next video.